Kia ora, Viv. So lovely to have you joining us on our Dunedin Stories podcast today. Mm, thank you for inviting me along. This is a great opportunity. No, I, I'm yeah. so excited to hear yeah. about Empowering Minds for Life. Uh, already a little yeah. bit familiar with what you do, yep. but um, I'm, I think our community is really going to embrace your messaging and your story. So yeah. Yeah. kick it off. Okay. Who, who are okay. you? What are you well, representing? Um, I'm a um, hypnotherapist and a mindset empowerment coach. And um, this is very new for me coming out, <laughs> to say this kind of thing. But I reckon it's time to do it because mm. I've kind of got settled in and um, I've been putting my focus on getting myself prepared professionally. And so now I've done that and I've been um, working for four years now. And I've just settled into a lovely space where I'm supported by a whole lot of other professionals. Mm. And I have found my way of doing this. So... Empowering Minds for Life came from my own um, journey. I had a few workplace ex- accidents and injuries, concussion, then came back from that after about six and a half to seven months. And I fell backwards downstairs and whacked my wrist on bricks, but broke it badly and ended up with um, Crips, chronic regional pain syndrome, mm. which is a weird thing to be told you've got. And there's a lot of worse things that could have happened falling backwards Oh, there stairs. was. I could have hit my head again. And yeah. I was told never to hit my head again. Right. But one of my beautiful team members was behind me and she put her hands out. Oh. She said she went like this and couldn't and then went like that. Yeah. So she broke, she your fall. broke my fall, mm. caught my head. Mm. And I did that. And I remember thinking, ah, oh, not again. But now I think about those accidents. Mm. They're my happy accidents. And I thought it took me this extreme interrupt Mm. to work out where I fit and what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. Mm. Because I had to kind of come back Mm -hmm. and it's given me a whole new way of appreciating how we can be proactive in our journey through life. Mm. So when I got crunched and kind of stonkered and I loved where I worked, but they kind of couldn't wait for me and I could see that. So I had to resign and I Mm. thought, well... That'll be okay. But then I thought, well, I'm an older lady. <laughs> Who's going to want a broken nana? Was, had become my little thing. That's I was, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I thought, I do. Mm. I've got granddaughters. Mm. I've still got my life. What am I going to do about this? And, and you I, don't look a day over 50, oh, so well, I don't I just, know what you're talking well, I'll tell about. tell you, I turned 64 on Saturday. Wow. And I did it playing golf. I've just started to learn how to play golf. Because that was another thing. I was told, you know, you throw like a girl. And I used to say, well, I am a girl. And then I wasn't one of those people that thought I could ever connect any kind of bat to a ball and be able to hit it. Mm. I can. Wow. Awesome. (laughs) So I've started She Loves Golf. So this is is me taking Empowering Minds for Life. I'm always my own first client. Mm -hmm. Early adopter of your own things. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And the other thing why I do this is because I'm quite an analytical overthinker. And it was sort of suggested to me that, I would be one of the people this would be the hardest things for this, like, you know, hypnotherapy to work with. I'm really good at it. <laughs> and <laughs> I thought it brought me back. And if it can do it for me, mm-hmm. who puts up all sorts of barriers to all sorts of things, yeah. everyone else is going to have an easier journey. Aww. And so this is what it's about. And there's no woo-woo in hypnosis, hypnotherapy now. It's something humans do. It's kind of like an inner superpower we've got. Mm. And we're connected you know Mm. brain body Mm. so when we step into our sense of our own power there's a lot we can do to help ourselves Mm. so that's how I discovered it so I'd done um, athletics running and one of my early things was when I decide to do something I jump right in so Mm. I'd only been running for about three months and it came for the marathon and I thought, I'm going to do that. But I didn't know how long it was. I thought it was only 40 kilometres. <laughs> it's 42. It is. So I got all the way around to Sawyer's Bay. And I remember thinking, this doesn't look very flash. There's no one here. It took me four hours and 21 minutes and a collection of seconds to finish. And I did have the medic people. They rode around. And I had to say to them, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look at me, but I'm fine. So I got there, and then the guy with the drinks had run out of water to give me, but he said, keep going, keep going, you're mm. nearly there. Mm. And the finish line was in Port Chalmers down the main street. Yeah. And then I spent three days buckled up because 
you know, your body complains. Mm. I had only run for two hours, not that distance. So that was where I learned that um, I can ask my body to do a whole lot of things. And while I was running, I used my imagination and I kind of went into that hallucinating space where as I was coming up Rose Neath, which isn't much of a hill, when you've been running for as long as that, it feels like a mountain. And I had this weird thing where my body, because I love horses, I just started thinking about a horse I used to ride, and then I felt myself grow extra legs. It was wow. bizarre. <laughs> and so I trotted up there, and I stored that away, and I don't really tell many people about it, because I used to think, boy, that was weird. I mean, my brain must have gone onto its own sort of, you know, it sends us feel goods. Mm. So anyway, when I got crunched, and I was kind of told, we don't want you to get your hopes up about getting the full movement of your hand back. And I'm right hand dominated, so it's my right hand that was out of action. Um, and I thought, well, let me think about that because I also have a stubborn streak <laughs> and I don't like <laughs> being told this is it. So I researched and that's how I found Hypno. And I met some really amazing people who showed me there is a window where I can actually interrupt my chronic pain showed as my wrist swelling up right. and it would go stiff mm. and it was connected to being when I got angry and frustrated I actually noticed my wrist pump up and I thought what? and it was a breakthrough for me because mm. I thought if it can pump up mm-hmm. I can release it mm. so I started to do those kind of things and I found some beautiful things we all get taught the breathing it's doing it with intention focusing on what it what is you want because you've got to grab your focus of attention and if you can give it a picture or a model or a map it can focus on it and it's amazing what it does then and we don't even need to know the fancy nuts and bolts behind it no. you just and knowing story is beautiful mm-hmm. so if you can just have an idea of what it is you would like to do where you want to go and you picture it and you keep showing up and you do a little bit more. And this was the whole rehab, was doing a little bit more each day. So I basically haven't stopped doing this since the moment I realised this is my role Mm. to get back into my life, you know. And Mm. it hasn't been tiring because we've always got extra gears. Mm. We're responsible for how we view the world and Mm. how we shape um, the way we make meaning. So we're 24-7 beings and we can refresh our own energy. Mm. It's incredible. So, I love it. Yeah. You know, you could just yeah. uh, actually run your own radio show <laughs> and be speaking to an audience. You don't need me sitting here asking you questions. I, I get a bit gushy on it because I'm a little bit, I'm toning myself down. It's just that I see nobody is broken. Everybody's got something. Oh, in that, my that's I, so beautiful. In my ideal world, um, I might as well put it out here. I believe it should run on energy mm. because everybody has something. We It's a currency. Money is a currency too, and we do need it. Mm-hmm. And this is my thing coming into business. This is where I'm being supported to grow my business. Cause, and this is why I've come to you guys and to talk about this because I know what I do now. I have did all the training. I know all the theory and everything. The art of it is bringing it in for the people who come because everybody's different. Mm. I don't sell shoes. I don't want to fit people into the same size. I have to ask good questions, listen really well, and then shape what I can offer to what people need that fits their life. Mm. And people know, they do. Sometimes it's just permission to be able to say and also Anything goes in my office because I know when I was so frustrated with being crunched, I got sick of having to tell the same story, but I just wanted to put the size of it out there. Mm. And my room is nice and big, (laughs) so people can put it down, you know. We can imagine getting it out of us, Mm. and then we can start to imagine and connect with, what would I like to build? And then we research, we pull out, what lights people up? Everybody has a something, you know, and this is where it can be someone they love, it can be an experience they do, any activity. And then they go into, we take them into flow motion. And then you just fill yourself up with that experience. You're the same person, and this is where we do time travel. 
We can take people <laughs> as they are now. Okay. You said yeah. there was no woo-woo. Yeah, I know. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's the idea that we're in the here and now present moment. Yeah. And we can travel back. We're going nowhere, really. We can revisit things mm. and we can take the learning and mm. we can empower that process where we live up into now and then we can look to where we would like to go in the future. Mm. And it's a wonderful thing because... It's a little uh, bit like yeah. EMDR maybe. Yeah, yeah. We Similar. Pull, yeah, we pull in aspects of this. Mm. So what the skill set is, I like to think of it like this. This came to me one day and sometimes I have this feeling. Like um, I'm standing and I have this amazing pantry and there's all these flavours and things that can be brought in and we're creating the most amazing meal that this person wants to eat. And while I'm going in to, you know, gather things up, sometimes there's an experience like there's this Michelin chef who says, here. Mm. And this is the amazing thing I think that happens when you get two people together who are so focused on that one person and we are creating a process, a strategy, a plan that's theirs. Mm. And then they take these tools and they make them their own. Mm. So they can add some pepper if they want. To. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All sorts of condiments, you know. And yeah. I'd like to ask mm. a question yep. that's a practical one. Yeah. But what would a session with you look like? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that would be interesting for it. Yeah. Kind of like dispel some of the myths yep. or the concerns that people might okay. have. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, this is all about people don't lose control. Mm. They gain more control. Okay. They gain conscious awareness. But let's say I've got a 11 o'clock oh, yeah, yeah, appointment okay. with you. Yeah. Right. I've knocked on the door. Okay. I say, hi. You know, really pleased you come to see me. And yeah. we sit down and... I just ask, you know, what it is that have brought people here. Okay. And then we and start... And what could it be? What are some of the things ah, that it could be? Some of the things might be um, people were wanting to... Perhaps they've been using um, alcohol, smoking. Even anxiety is a little bit like a habit way of responding to things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we choose a way of feeling better. Mm -hmm. So we don't beat up on that because humans are adaptive. We want to mm -hmm. get through things. Sometimes people realise what they're doing to feel better actually has some downsides on it and they would like to get back to feeling like I'm making choices um, that actually free me up rather than hold me back. Mm -hmm. So we find out what that is and then we find the best place to start. Mm -hmm. And often if there is... Do a, I lie down on a couch? No, no. no. Everybody's sitting. Okay. It's eyes open and eyes closed. Okay. Because when we're in conversation, you know how we zone... Mm. and that kind of thing we go in and out mm. we hop when we listen to people we hop in and make our own meaning of mm. what we're hearing and sometimes the way we view the world can color how we're hearing people mm -hmm. so sometimes this happens so there's no judgy there's no right and wrong there's no pass fail mm -hmm. it's finding out how people make meaning and what they would rather do so that mm. what we do here is we identify what their issue is, and then we look at what's going well, what are they really into? Because we're giving the brain a couple of maps. Mm -hmm. It knows where it wants to change mm. and what it's going to change to. And then it's just helping people pace that. Mm -hmm. So it's very practical. Mm -hmm. And if we do any formal trance work, it's only when people are comfortable mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people are fully aware of what's happening. This mm -hmm. isn't taking somebody into disempowerment. Mm -hmm. They're into a focused state of awareness. Beautiful. Yeah. And they sort can of an talk. hour long for a session? Um, More. Ideally 90 minutes, 90? which sounds a long time. Mm -hmm. But it fits. We're biological beings. We're kind of clock beings. And it seems to fit one of these revolutions in our natural energy cycles that we go through the day. Mm -hmm. And at the end, people feel quite satisfied. So what I do is I'm a guide and I help people identify the pattern of the way that they might be thinking, behaving. These are all mi mixed in, feeling. And we gather that pattern. Then we identify what they'd rather do. Mm. And so we just start to interrupt mm -hmm. 
and help people be aware of that. Mm -hmm. And then they can change into living the way they would rather do. Yeah. So it's not always a long process. It's quite quick. Some people, it's just one 90-minute session. session and they're done. Session and they're, yeah, and people will say to me a version <laughs> of, I'm good to go. So I realised in a little way, it's like good to go, have no. People yeah, just nice. say... I've got it. Yeah. Otherwise, there might be people that come and see you Sometimes. every week for well, it's, 10 weeks, It's, it's never, weeks. never long term. Um, sometimes okay. if it's something around, um, you know, changing weight, that kind of thing, mm. um, we've got to work at the pace that, pe that feels realistic and comfortable for people. Mm. So I don't push too fast and I never slow things down. Mm. So people only ever get exactly what they need. Mm. So... Um, it might be, and then it becomes maybe coaching once a month. So mm. people never get, I'm always, because I've designed my business the way I am as a consumer, and I don't want to be given stuff I don't need, you mm. know, and I want this to be accessible. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I flex and I do my best with that kind of thing. So, you know. I wish I'd come and seen you before I attempted the half marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, it took me four hours to do half a marathon. <laughs> so here you oh, are, no, four yeah. hours. For, oh, oh, no. Yeah. But um, I finished it and I still felt accomplished. But yeah, yeah that, that time was an interesting one for me. <sighs> it is, it is. You're so... <laughs> I'm not a runner. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I, to say. I jog a little bit now. I, yeah. I love walking, you yeah, know. Yeah, and so. um, when I restart things, I've started walking again with a, a group of women. It's really neat. We've met at the Dinosaur Park. You know yeah. there's something about the Dinosaur Park that just fills you with energy and that sense of play. Fond memories. Yeah, yeah. And we walk up um, John Wilson Drive. Oh, nice. Because you've got the beach mm. and you've got the wind, mm. you know, and we could talk so much. We out blew the wind the other day. <laughs> I incredible. love it. I have and absolutely just... no doubt that that is 100% true. And when it. we got back, it felt like we'd done, you know, it was easy. Yeah. So this is, and the same with golf. Mm. The she loves golf. What a generous thing. Mm. You can go along knowing nothing at all about golf. Mm. And, you know, you just, there's a whole lot of other women who have permission to play. Yeah, it's you know? beautiful. Yeah, and it. when you hit the ball, it's a surprise <laughs> and it's satisfying. The power that comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's the learning. Yeah. So if we are on the Dunedin stories, mm, mm. so maybe we could ask a few questions. Yeah, around. sure. Porti Porti Dunedin. Yeah, yeah. Are you from Dunedin? Well, not originally. I am an import, but I've been here. I came here when I was 22. So my daughter Anita was eight months old and Bob came because he got an interview. He had an interview at, at the airport of all places. Yeah. And so he started in uh, wool scouring. So we came not knowing anybody here. Mm. We'd been students. And we got a um, place to rent in Sawyer's Bay, and we just we just settled in here. Mm. You know, mm. it was the um, what I love about Dunedin is how nature is there, and mm. it can be wild. Mm. And I love the fact that you can get all sorts of seasons in one day, because it reminds us we're just part of this environment. Mm. You know, yeah. we've got to enjoy it. You know, and I've done lots of things. I've done rowing. I've been on the harbour. You know, I love interacting with our environment mm. it's you know i've become a Dunedinite. beautiful so if i go away my home is here and i can't wait to get back yeah nice. you know it's nice to have this to go away and it's like we take the essence of Dunedin with us mm. and we leave somewhere we go mm, i agree yeah little gems for <laughs> the people world's to pick better. up i yeah. think so yeah you know it's a lovely place and growing a business <coughs> in Dunedin, yep. you know, uh, you've been on a four-year journey. Mm. Is there any particular mm. organisations or people or things that you've been involved with that you think yeah. have supported you? Yes, yes. And this came from being brave because I was pretty shy and I didn't even really know what networking meant. Mm. And then I thought, I've just got to show up, get out there and learn how to say who I am. Mm. And so there are a few things. And I'm really surprised... You know, um, there's the, this is that international thing, B&I, and everyone's mm. going, oh, what's that? And then my husband said to me, oh, that might be a weird cult. <laughs> and I said, well, look, I'm going to go along. But the beautiful thing is, and I've been consistent, every Thursday I have the privilege to come along and for 60 seconds tell some other people mm. who have more business experience than I do about business. So that's been a wonderful group. Mm. Then there have been the women's groups, mm -hmm. you know, Women in Business Otago, mm -hmm. and um, what's now Business South. Mm -hmm. When I signed up for that, 
I thought, see, I'm a one-woman business, and so I signed up for it, and I thought, oh, how am I going to turn up? So I just turn up, and you just start talking to people, and Mm. the best thing is to find out about other people. Mm. It's a great way of learning about business. People are so generous, Mm. and you know they say it takes a village to raise a child? Mm. It's the same with a business. And my big learning, I started my business in the year that we had COVID. <laughs> COVID Perfect was, timing. I know. <laughs> COVID was great for me because I could knuckle in and I was studying like crazy. And I draw what I want. Every office I've had, I've drawn it and I get it. It's an interesting thing. You don't have to be a good drawer. No. Just stick it out there because yeah. it's that map. So I did it a little bit the same with the networking. I just put it out there that... I'm going to just go as I am Mm. and I want to learn. Mm. So I'm ready to be a sponge. Mm. And it was the timing of this coming out and I went to beautiful Petri Dish. And that's where I saw you there and I saw um, lovely Anna Ori, Mm. A Plus Physio, Mm. and I heard her talk and she's so generous. And I was sitting there and I'd made a, um, a business card. It was a piece of paper with, I remember only ever taken four selfies my daughter looked at it and she goes, oh, God, Mum. But I took the best of the four and I printed it out and I made a little piece of paper and I had it there and people were swapping, you know, business cards and I said, oh, I've just got this piece of paper. And this woman took it mm. and she said to me, that starts it. Mm. And it did. Mm-hmm. And then we had the um, second lockdown, but I'd got underway a little bit. Mm. And so I could use that time You were to a get part of being I then, weren't you? Yes, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. And starting to take myself seriously. Mm. So the big thing for me is I want to be the real deal for people. So this is why I've gone out and, you know, I'm continually training. Mm. And the other support is, I've got to say, the New Zealand Association of Professional Hypnotherapists. This bunch of people are brilliant. So, and I got on the committee and we've been working tirelessly and our big win for our profession is... The association members, we've been um, given the approval by the Allied Health and the Ministry of Health. So this is only within the last, say, three months. Wow. So this allows us to be in the space, yeah. to be part of... You're not locked out anymore. It's a no, holistic... No, no. Mm. And in the rest of the world, we are engaged. Mm. So it's becoming an option. Beautiful. So we complement, we support... We're not there for a long relationship Mm. because we're empowering people to step in Mm. and then carry on. Mm. So it's such a good thing. Mm. And it it really feels like it's something Mm. that's at the top of the cliff, per se. Yeah, and it it can fit anywhere in there. But ideally, it is. And it's way before the cliff. Yeah. You know, it's stuff. um, And I love the fact that um, mindfulness is such a, it's all, it's, all around us, you know, everyone knows about breathing, mm. which is so cool yeah. because it's our natural way of resetting, you yes. know, and yet we haven't really known about these no, things. We haven't. So it's to make it as easy as possible and to fit in Dunedin, to do it here is very satisfying. Well, I love that you're part of the community. Yeah, yeah. And you may not realise, but you are the inspiration as well now. Having seen you be president of the BNI oh, chapter. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes. You know, I just I came out of my second turn doing it. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's wow. A, and and that's a yeah. big deal. Thank yeah. you so much for inspiring others to ah, start their businesses. Thank and, you. And, and just that it's that. um, what has been quite miraculous for me is to realise that um, you can be an ordinary everyday person, and if you're fully in your life, mm. you can make a difference. Mm. You know, it's and mm. this is where I like about Dunedin because. People are very real. Mm. There isn't the flashiness, you know. Mm. There is people are consistent, and there's come. nowhere really to put a yacht. So we can't. no, there isn't. There isn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. So yeah. it's been an absolute mm. pleasure to have you here. Yeah, I'd yeah. really like it if you could yeah. tell the community how they can contact you and reach out. Yeah, to, sure. Uh, engage with your services. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm um, my physical location is Room Three Twenty Two Mint Street mm-hmm. um, in. Craigie House, which is one of the original buildings. I really like that. It's had fantastic history. There's some other health um, practitioners in there. We're Mm. a little low-key, but it's got a lovely heart space. And um, you can 
um, connect with me on my website, empoweringmindsforlife.co.nz. Um, Beautiful. And, yeah, and I just, people always come for a free chat first because mm. it's really important people feel okay about it. Mm. So it's all power to the people. Love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you Absolute so much. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I might just have to do a wee booking, I think. <laughs> oh, lovely. I look forward yeah. to it. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Jeff. you so much. This has been really great. <laughs>